Hi guys, how you doing today? It is Steve of the Guru Brew. I wanted to just make a quick video and show you how to remove Norton Internet Security Suite if the uninstall in the control panel fails. This is a Vista machine, but this can happen with an XP, Windows 7. And um, you come to into the uninstall portion of the control panel, and you would like to uninstall Norton, so you click it like this, and then you come up here and you click this button to uninstall it. It asks for permission, you continue and either you get an error message or just nothing happens which is in my case just nothing is happening and you can't get rid of the Norton and it resides in your programs and you know if you want to install a another a security product you first have to remove all traces of all others because most computers do not like to share computers when it comes to antivirus software solutions so it's imperative that you get old traces off the machine what's happened in this case is the Norton uninstall portion of the program has been damaged and you're going to need to download a tool off the internet to go ahead and get rid of this for good so we're trying to remove Norton internet security and I will take you to another computer and we'll download a little tool off the Norton site and I'll show you how to save it to a flash drive and then ultimately put it in this machine and uh, remove that Norton for good. So let's go over to the other machine now and I'll show you where to download that from. To get to the page that I'm at now, just go to Google and type in Norton Removal Tool and look for the Norton um, dot com website within the listings and you will find this tool I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description as the video description that is so once you're on this Norton site um, you'll find this page and you come on down and it'll ask you what type of Norton product you have and the one that we're concerned with is the Norton security suite or the antivirus and you know I think both of these would work but try to get as close as you can I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one and it will give you instructions how to download it and so you just want to click this link after you find it now if you have a Macintosh you're gonna to want to use this one this one's for the PC so you're just gonna have to read this page and um, get the right one so I'm gonna go ahead and download the removal tool here and then I'm gonna save it and I'm going to save it to a flash drive and if you don't know how to use a flash drive look back through my videos and I describe how to use a flash drive but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and I plug this flash drive into my computer and I'm going to go ahead and save to it. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my flash drive, which is this E, removable. And it's going to just save it as Norton Removal Tool.exe. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And it's a pretty small file. So I have the file now on the flash drive. So I can go ahead and um, remove the flash drive. And let's go ahead and take this flash drive back over to the computer that needs Norton removed and we'll finish it up. Okay, we're back over to the computer that needs the Norton removed. So I'm just going to go ahead and find an empty USB port on this computer. It's going to go ahead and pop up here for me. I'm going to go ahead and close this stuff up here. I'm going to go ahead and open the folder. And I'm, I'm going to find the uh, removal tool, which is here. Double click. 
Continue. And you can see the vast list that this tool will work on. So let's go ahead and continue. Next. Accept the licensing agreement. Next. And you have to type in this code. Oh, I got a wrong match. Let me try it again. V. See, they gave me a different one. H. U. P. That's what I see anyway. Next. Okay, good. I'm ready to go. Let's hit the next button. It says it will take a few minutes. And once I've started the process, I can't stop. So let's go for it. So you can see it's working pretty quickly. So this is a, a well-known problem that sometimes the antivirus Norton um, gets stuck and it can't be removed easily without this tool. And it is not a good idea, like I said at the beginning of this video, to have traces of old antivirus solutions on your computer on top of newer working versions. When you add an antivirus solution, you should remove all traces of any others before doing so. What happens is, if you have two versions running, often they'll compete thinking that the other is a virus itself and it can lead to some total lockdown problems of a computer as far as closing the IP addresses up trying to protect itself. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes I can tell, so I'll be back when it when it's done or when something happens anyway. All right, well the Norton removal tool is now finished. It only took a few minutes, it wasn't too bad. And the last step is to go ahead and remove your um, thumb drive, your flash drive, and then go ahead and restart the machine by pressing the restart button here. And when it comes back up, we'll see if it's gone. So hang out for that. I'll be back in a minute. All right, well, the machine is now restarted, so I just want to go ahead and make sure that that Norton antivirus is gone. So I'm going to go back into my control panel and go under Programs, Uninstall Program, and just look down through the list and see if it's gone. And we're looking for the word Norton. So M, it's still filling up, so... Yep, Norton's all gone. Let's look under their programs. All programs. Just look for the ends. H I J K L M. Look, no more Norton. Okay, well, that's it. If you like Norton or not, it really doesn't matter. If you have to uninstall it to upgrade or put something else on, you have to remove it first. So this is how you do it. So thanks for watching. I hope you got some use out of this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey, guys. This is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.